I'm done with bullshit. At this point, I'm merely amused. 22, checking in, it's like a yearly review. I ain't making no commitments less I'm seeing it through. And that shit ain't always easy to do. Nah, it ain't easy to. All right, so we have officially arrived at Wilson's event. We have experience, learn, and play. I've got my little card here. We're going to actually be venturing around, filling this out as we go through the store. Pretty excited to experience all that they have to offer with each of these sports. Really, really cool. So we're going to get started and head on in. My name is Sophia Schubert. I'm on the LPGA. My season starts next week, so I'm here with Wilson um, to open this store. I just signed with them, so I'm really excited. It's a big moment. So yes. you get all the free clubs of yes. Dream Up, basically, oh, yes. right? I do. They, I have the hookup, so they're really great to me. <laughs> <laughs> so what are your favorite clubs that you're currently using right now? So I play the CBs, which is kind of the middle here. Um, it's more for professional golfers. Uh, Better amateur golfers. Um, this it's, is me, everyone. <laughs> yes, these the, are, the beginner Marissa. <laughs> so these ones are a little more forgiving. If you miss hit it, if you hit it a little off on the face, it'll still kind of go straight. And then you have uh, the staff irons, which are more of a player's club. You know, if you want to work the ball, hit it left or right, it's a little easier with these. Um, but anyway, I play the CBs, which I love. Um, a little bit of workability, but also if you miss hit it a little bit, it, it has kind of some forgiveness, so you can still hit it a little straighter. But yeah, we've got three different sets here, which is perfect. It kind of covers every golfer. Yeah, it's great, yeah. especially for beginners like myself. <laughs> I just got some actual golf shoes the other Good. day. I was pretty excited. There's Good. a fashion forward one okay. that Nike just released, so we're gonna yeah. test those out on the, well, hey, you're on the golf course. I know, well, I, I'm terrible at that game over there. <laughs> it's hard, okay. I'm not sure the lovely I, girl that's over there, she said she was gonna help me, but I was in the water. It's because, you know, it's when you're okay. on a real golf course yes. versus a screen, Yes, There's I know. something that doesn't feel realistic about it. It's a little, little it. different. I know, I know. You I had to ask get myself there. where that lake came from. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait a second, where is this lake? I didn't see this in the I know, whole it photo. Just came out of it came out of nowhere, and there's yes. my ball in the water plunging. <laughs> like, this isn't real life. <laughs> hey, golf is tough. It takes a lot of work to so just, you know, I keep don't it have up. a handicap yet. We haven't. <laughs> You'll we haven't get there. Reached out. What is your yeah. handicap? It's a plus three, so like three under par. Um, wow. So, hey, we are, we I've are been not playing a long yet. time. When did you start playing golf? Gosh, I've been playing 21 years. I was four years old. 20? Wow. Yeah, I'm 25 now. I so. wish I would have known about golf early on. I actually worked at a restaurant on okay. a golf course. Okay. And I wish I would have actually yeah. just played. It was all, it's a small golf course. It was nine holes. Okay. But, you know, I you could have it somewhere. You were around I yes. chose volleyball. Okay. That was my college sport. See, so. I could not do volleyball. So. Oh. It's, they're completely different sports. Yes. <laughs> completely. Like, one, you have to jump. Golf, you stay on your feet at yes. least, right? You may lift a foot up in the air a little bit, but that's... No that's running, it, right? none of that, yes. But exactly. it's a long game. It really it is. is. Long, and it's more mental than anything, too. People don't realize. I mean, oh you're God. out there five I, hours. I have played with golf with some stressful people. You really yes. see your true friends, I think, you on a do. golf course. It brings out your character. Woo! It really does. I've had some friends cool. just <laughs> throw their clubs off and walk off the course. I'm like, it's where are you going? We're, game. we're only eight holes in. I know. Not oh even God. halfway. <laughs> You gotta like keep your composure, which is really hard. See, um, I think my problem is, is I'm great with my drive, I'm great with my putt. It's my middle game. Okay. That's where I struggle. Yeah, well hey, it starts with hitting the fairway, so you're there. Right, exactly, and then, I got that. Yes, the putting is, I think, the most important. It's where they say, uh, drive for show, putt for dough. Oh. So putt for money. Yes, if you make your putts, you're gonna do well. Yeah. So you're on track. It's just that, gotta dial in that the I think iron. It's the clubs in the middle. It's the irons in the woods. I just yes. 
I'm learning my distance and yeah. the right one to use. But I butcher that middle game. Get oh, man. you some, uh, some Wilson irons, and I, I think it would help a little bit. I too. know, maybe that's what I'm missing. Yeah. You know, I haven't played golf in so long. I used yeah. to used to play it quite a bit when I travel. Okay, okay. Was fortunate enough to play uh, yeah. Pebble Beach. Oh my goodness. Uh, Spanish Bay, yeah. some incredible courses. I just went out there for the first time last month. How beautiful it's is incredible. it? It's incredible. You're I really like, lucky. You I said know. something that the majority of even elite golfers have never have not done. done. I know, right? It's crazy the golf courses yes. I've been on. Yes, that's My incredible. poor caddy, I'm like, I'm going to need some help here. Oh, hey, I'm sure they've seen worse. I know, I'm like, I don't know if we're going to get anywhere close. You may be running and finding my ball for me. Well, hey, when you're out in a beautiful place like that, who cares where the ball goes, exactly, you know? Exactly, right? This is true. Well, thank yes, you so thank much. Thank you so much. Good luck with the start of your season. Thank this you. So excited. We'll have to follow you, everybody yes. at Shade TV. Yes, please do. Thank They've you so much. We've got another girl that we, we may have to have you on our channel, too. Yes, that would be great. I would love that. That would be great. You be my bunny, baby. I'll be your Clyde. Hit the ignition and I'll give you a ride. Swing of your hips has got me fit to be tied I'm shaking tail and taking names on the side Honey, do whatever you want, oh, oh, I'll be watching Get a little too close, oh, oh, now we're touching No, I'm not fronting, I'm just stating a fact So what are your favorite pieces so far this year? Um, well, we have a few hanging here um, But I'd say what's doing like really well for us right now are our tennis skirts Tennis skirts are trendy. You yes. know that schoolgirl look? Yes. It's never going away, is it? Yep, and we got I love a good tennis skirt. options for you. This is cute. <laughs> I love this. And it's a completely different fit. This is a really cool material. We have like a meshing going on here. Yep, so it's super lightweight and breathable. Um, and then you have an interior compression short to hold you in. Gotta have those. And not just that. Then you get a pocket for your phone and, and a pocket. Wow. That way you're going to be able to both play as well as hang out. So you put your phone in here when you're on the go and you put your ball up in here when you're um, playing tennis. I like how you put it in that area as well. So it's pretty much kind of hidden. You yeah. can't really see what's underneath there. Surprise exactly. people, right? Pull out your phone. They're like, whoa, where'd that come from? Wilson's 107 years old. So like that crazy. I did not realize Wilson is 107 years old. That's crazy. It is crazy. And it's also from like a designer standpoint. It's like you want to respect the heritage of the brand. Mm -hmm. You want to honor where we were 107 years ago, but bring so it to today. You've been studying archives for quite some time, I'm assuming. Uh, and right? that's exactly what we wanted to show you is like oh there's gosh. all these things that we had access to without trying. We had just so much history, so much information, and we wanted to honor that through the clothing. So Got you're going to see all sorts of things on every garment. I can point something out that sort of honors our past, but also feels modern and relevant for today. This is a, I mean, I geek out a lot about clothing, like a lot. I love it though. Um, one of the things that I found in the archives that I'm like, yeah, we have to do that is, you know, when we started 107 years ago, spandex didn't exist. You often saw like military uniforms and um, warm up performance pieces. They would engineer different textures in order to keep the sleeves up and to provide the function because spandex didn't exist, right? So we took that same methodology, but just to honor the past, we obviously have spandex. We knit this jacquard structure into the cut just to like have that cue from when we first started. I feel that. Ah. Another thing we wanted to do was like reinvent the basketball short. Again, so many brands make basketball shorts. Yeah, so this is in true. One of our, um, These are my high school colors. I was a wildcat, so you know, going down were, memory lane here. They were mine too. Okay, I mean, great I love colorway, it. right, for right. a high school color option. So this detail, though, was back in our 1936 catalog, this exact layout. Okay. And so what we wanted to do was bring it, it was like cut and sewn on, and it was in a non-technical fabric, and that was a uniform. So we wanted to bring it back. Got and so it. we did it with bonded tape to reinforce the seams, to make it really durable. We also wanted, so we're honoring the past, but we also wanted to make it functional. So like that vent right there allows you to really have range of motion and be able to stretch and move. Do you ladies have to like practice in some of the things that you create? We Are you out there like tests. playing a different, totally. different? Got it. Basketball mesh is basketball mesh. This is woven, so it dries super fast. Say, this looks a bit different than what I'm used to seeing with the typical basketball materials that are used on shorts. I love how lightweight this feels though. Yeah, and exactly. you've got the perforated holes, so you get that breathability, which is quite nice as well. It's 
like the lightest basketball short we could make. I could have used these in middle school. We had right? to wear the ugliest mesh shorts. Oh my goodness. Right? And I was just like, seriously, can we get something else? Anybody? <laughs> A little more style here. Yep. So we're highly functional, but we also didn't want to like limit. Very lifestyle. Here, they, are, they look very lifestyle, but the one thing I want to show you is this is a patent pending pan. It's the tailgater pan. You can hold three long neck bottles of beer in these pans mm -hmm. at any given time. We need to become instant friends because yes. I love sneakers. All right, we do. <laughs> Make me as stylish as you can. Oh, I am ready. All I'm right, ready. Shall, we, shall we go out okay. there? This? I never would have expected. Yeah. It's like a nice sweater bomber. Really, really cute. And the amazing thing about most of our product too is it looks great, but it also has so much functionality in it too. Yeah, because so, it's, it's almost fashionable lifestyle, but you can bring this to a game, you can yes. rock this in a sporty field. And after a tennis match or you know a basketball game, you throw it on, it's got all the sweat wicking, it's gonna have cool max yarn, so it's gonna keep you cool and also keep you dry. And sweat wicking. As my coach always says, you don't want to go outside sweaty. It's <laughs> exactly. the worst thing because you're, you feel hot, you go outside, and it's cold. Yeah, exactly. And it's the worst thing for your body. That's a wrap at the Wilson brand opening. It was so much fun here. I'm actually gonna just end it with this. So if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to hit that subscribe if you have not already. Give this video a thumbs up. That's my water bottle. Leave your comments and questions down below. Hit that notification box. We have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button and our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you all in the next episode. Oh, when I'm